everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 30th of june 2022 let's start which is the most liable city in the world as per the eiu global liability index so the economist intelligence unit launched its annual ranking of the world's most livable cities that is global liability index for the year 2022 and total 173 cities were ranked based on a range of criteria for example infrastructure availability to the green space political stability crime rate and the health rate so vienna austria was the top city in this list second was copenhagen from denmark and third city in this ranking was zurich from switzerland okay so these were the top 3 cities in this index fine now let's see some of the important ranks and indices what is the rank of india in the world gold council report of largest gold recyclers so in terms of gold recycling we are at fourth position because we have recycled total 75 tons of gold fine first country in this ranking was china with total recycling rate of 168 tons second country was italy it has basically recycled 80 tons of gold and third country was usa and it has recycled 78 tons fine and the fourth country is obviously india what is the rank of india in the world competitiveness index 2022 so the rank of india in this is 37 which was the first country in this index it is denmark and the second country is switzerland fine and the top performing asian economies are singapore at third rank then hong kong at fifth place then there is taiwan at seventh rank after that china has the rank of 17th and australia's rank was 19th fine so this is all about second question so first was denmark second was switzerland and the third was singapore which emerged as the best higher education institution in india in the latest edition of qs world university ranking answer is indian institute of science bangalore and its rank was 155 okay so 41 indian universities were featured in this ranking and 27 indian universities were in the top 1000 okay so iisc bangalore was followed by iit bombay and then it is followed by iit delhi okay what is the rank of india in the world air power index under the global air powers ranking 2022 so india's rank in this term is third and the first among all was usa which organization recently released the state energy and the climate index round 1 ranking so this index is released by niti aayog and actually this index ranks the states and the union territories based on their efforts that how much they have put their efforts towards improving the energy consumption and energy access and to safeguard their environment fine so first among the larger states is 
Gujarat in this ranking. Second was Kerala and third was Punjab. Okay. And if we talk about the smaller states category, then the first was Goa, second was Tripura and then third was Manipur. Okay. And talking about the union territory, Chandigarh was at the top and then it was followed by Delhi. And the bottom three states were Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand state. Okay. Falguni Nair with a net worth of $7.6 billion dollars is ranked at which position on the world 2022 list of Huron wealthiest self-made woman. So she was ranked at 10th position and don't forget that as per the Huron richest self-made woman in the world 2022, there are 124 self-made woman billionaires in the world and three Indian women were featured in this list. First was Falguni Nair, second was Radha Vembu and third was Kiran Mazundar Shaw and Falguni Nair was ranked at 10th place with a total wealth of 7.6 billion dollars. Okay. So I hope this slide proves beneficial to you. Next question. The Levi of GST compensation says has been extended till which year? So as per the goods and services tax rules 2022 that has been notified by the Ministry of Finance. The compensation says will continue to be levied from 1st of July 2022 up to 31st of March 2026. And the levy of says which was to end on 30th of June was extended by the GST Council which was chaired by our Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. And it is used to repay the loans taken in the last two fiscal years to make up for the shortfall in the revenue collection. Okay, so correct answer would be 2026. Coming to the question slide, Prime Minister Awas Yojana aims to achieve housing for all by the year dash. So it aims to achieve housing for all by the year 2022. And the goal is to make 2.7 crore houses by the end of 2022. And already we have achieved 67% of this target. Okay. Which country has recognized India as the country of the year in Europe's biggest startup conference named as Viva Tech? So India has been honored with this tag and this event was addressed by Ashwini Vashna, who is our minister for railways. He is also minister of electronics and IT and also he holds the position of minister of communication. right? Which major country's central bank has announced its biggest interest rate rise in nearly 30 years? So due to inflation, USA has announced its biggest interest rate rise in last 30 years. As per the recent notification, the 5G spectrum will be auctioned for how many years? So it will be auctioned for total 20 years and uh, the 5G is actually 10 times faster than 4G. Which country has passed the Turban Day Act to celebrate the Turban Day every year? This country is Canada. Okay. Next question. Which body has formulated and published the standards for electric vehicle batteries? So India's national standard body, the Bureau of Indian Standard, has formulated and published the standards for electric vehicle batteries. And BIS functions under the under the aegis of Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. So the new standards are released for test specification for the lithium ion traction battery packs and the systems for electrically propelled road vehicles considering the real life scenarios. Okay. Let's see some of the important questions. The National Green Tribunal has asked which states town planning department to hold the draft development plan. So NGT has asked the Himachal Pradesh state to hold its draft development plan. In which state was the first pure green hydrogen plant in India unveiled? So the very first pure green hydrogen plant has been unveiled in Assam recently. For merging the green hydrogen in the piped natural gas network, NTPC has signed agreement 
with which of the following gas distribution companies. So for this purpose, NTPC has signed this agreement with Gujarat Gas. India's first green field, green based ethanol plant has been inaugurated in which state or the union territory. So the very first green field, green based ethanol plant has been inaugurated recently in Bihar state. India signed a pact on the green hydrogen task force and agreed to work on artificial intelligence startups with which country. So we have signed this pact with Germany. Okay. Next question. Which Indian state has announced a buyback scheme to purchase the single-use plastic items from the students? So Himachal Pradesh is set to implement a buyback scheme in the schools and the colleges to purchase the single-use plastic item from the students. And under this new scheme, the government will pay students 75 rupees for 1 kg of single-use plastic items they deposit in the school. So this school aims to inculcate a habit of environment conservation among the youngsters. Fine. Let's see some of the important states that are in news. Tata Power Solar Systems commissioned India's largest floating solar power project in which state? So Tata Power Solar System, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of Tata Power, has commissioned India's largest floating solar power project in Kayamkulam in the state of Kerala. So this project is commissioned on a 350 acres backwater area having an installed capacity of 101.6 megawatt peak. Right? Which state has announced the plans to install automatic sirens to protect the elephants from the accident? So Odisha has announced the plans to install automatic sirens near its national highways to protect the elephants from accident and these sensor based sirens will ring and a red light will turn on when elephants cross the road to alert the drivers within a distance of up to 1 kilometers. So the pilot project has been initiated by Change which is a voluntary organization. Right? Which state instituted the Kempe Gorda International Award? So this award has been instituted by the state Karnataka. Which state is set to roll out the comprehensive health insurance scheme called Medisep? So it has been introduced by the state Kerala for its state government employees. Which state or union territory launched the Mo Bus service which was recently recognized by the United Nations Public Service Award? This is the state Odisha and it has introduced this service in 2018 to promote the smart technologies and safe transportation for the women riders and recently it has been recognized by the United Nations Public Service Award. Okay. Next question, Gabon and Togo which recently joined the Commonwealth of Nations are from which region? So French speaking West African countries Gabon and Togo joined the Commonwealth becoming the latest nations with no historic ties to Britain to enter the Commonwealth of Nations. And the 54 nation group of mostly former British colonies accepted Togo and Gabon's application for membership on the final day of its leadership summit that was held in Rwanda. So they are the first new members to join the Commonwealth since Rwanda in the year 2009. Okay, so answer would be African countries. Let's see some of the important international current affairs. Samuel B. Roberts, which was recently discovered, was a World War II era Navy destroyer of which country? Actually, it had sunk during the Second World War and now it was found in the Philippine Sea. So this vessel was split in half and lodged on a slope below the Pacific Ocean and now it was found at a depth of 6,895 meters in the Philippine Sea and it remained undiscovered for nearly eight decades. Okay, so answer would be USA. Roe v. Wad is a landmark decision associated with which country? So this was a landmark decision of the US Supreme Court in which it was ruled that the constitution of the US protects a pregnant woman's liberty to choose to have an abortion. 
okay so us supreme court has recently struck down the ruling which allowed abortion in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy and subsequently protest is spread across the country after the ruling fine which country has launched a solid fuel rocket named as zuljana so iran has launched a solid fuel rocket into space named as zuljana and it is a 25.5 meters long rocket that is capable of carrying a satellite of 220 kilograms so this satellite will gather the data in the low earth orbit and it has been named after the horse of imam hussain who is the grandson of the prophet muhammad fine india recently announced the commonwealth diplomatic academy program with which country so we have announced this program along with uk which major country announced emergency measures including the use of coal after the shortage of supply of gas from russia this is germany and before it germany used to import a lot of gas from russia but now due to ukraine russia war germany has to take some emergency steps padma bridge which was seen in the news recently is located in which neighboring country of india so it lies in bangladesh and it was in news because bangladesh ministry of foreign affairs has recently announced that this bridge is not part of china's belt and road initiative okay next question vertical launch short range surface to air missile which was tested recently was based on which missile so the drdo and the indian navy have successfully tested the indigenous ship borne weapon system vertical launch short range surface to air missile and this was designed based on astra missile so it was developed by drdo as the first air to air missile and astra is also an all weather beyond visual range missile fine coming to the question slide which country announced to provide iskander m tactical missile system to the country belarus this is the country russia which organization developed the nuclear capable prithvi 2 missile it has been developed by defense research and the development organization which indigenous missile corvette of the indian navy was converted to a ship museum this is ins khukri the ministry of defense signed a contract with which company for the supply of astra mk1 air to air missile answer is bharat dynamics limited which country test fired zircon hypersonic cruise missile so zircon missile is related to the country russia right next question international day in support of victims of torture is observed in which month so every year 26th of june is observed as the international day in support of the victims of torture and it aims to urge all the stakeholders to unite for the people who have faced and continue to face the abuse and the torture okay so not only it is spread awareness on the unacceptable character of human torture but also it notes that it is a crime okay so correct answer would be june now let's see some of the important days when is the micro small and the medium sized enterprises day celebrated so 27th of june is celebrated as msme day and this day is aimed to raise public awareness of the contribution of msmes to the global economic growth and sustainable development so according to the united nations formal and informal msmes account for 70% of the total employment and 50% of gdp okay and moreover the sector makes up for 90% of all the funds fine right? when is the international day against the drug abuse and illicit trafficking observed it is observed on june 26 when is the day of the seafarer observed this day is observed on january june 25 when is the united nations public service day observed we observe this day on june 23 when is the international day of the celebration of the solstice observed it is observed on 21st of june fine next question 
which Indian state clinched their maiden Ranji Trophy title in 2022. So Madhya Pradesh has defeated Mumbai by six wickets in the finals to clinch their maiden Ranji Trophy title in Bangalore. And the match included centuries from Yash Dubey, Shubham Sharma, and Rajat Patidar in the first innings, and the renowned cricket coach Chandrakant Pandit, who was the captain of the Madhya Pradesh team 23 years ago, has guided the young team to victory. Fine. Right? Coming to the question slide, which Indian bagged the Lancia Panel Pacific International Snooker title in Melbourne? Answer is Saurav Kothari. Which racing driver won the Azerbaijan Formula 1 Grand Prix title in 2022? Answer is Max Verstappen and he belongs to the country Netherlands. Who is the winner of the French Open 2022 men's single title? It was won by Rafael Nadal. Who is the winner of the French Open tennis women's singles 2022 title? Answer would be Iga Swiatek. Can you tell me from which country she belonged to? Do let me know in the comments. Which racing driver won the Monaco Grand Prix title? Answer is Sergio Paris and he is from Mexico. Okay. Next is Avinash Kulkarni, who was in the news recently, is the new CEO of which body? So he has been selected as the CEO of Indian Debt Resolution Company Limited. So it was formed to resolve more than 83,000 crore of bad loans to be acquired by the government backed National Asset Reconstruction Company Limited. And he was the CEO of Indian Resurgence Asset Reconstruction Company. And also he had served in State Bank of India. So another SBI veteran, Natarajan Sundar, was selected as CEO of NARCL in April 2022. Right? Let's see some of the important appointments. Who has been appointed as the CEO of Niti Aayog after Amitabh Kant? So Parmeswaran Ayer has been appointed as the CEO of Niti Aayog and he is also the former secretary of Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation who led the government's Swachh Bharat mission. So he has succeeded Amitabh Kant who retires on June 30 this year. Who has been appointed as the chairperson of the Press Council of India? So the new chairperson of Press Council of India is Justice Ranjana Prakash Desai. Which country, also a constitutional monarchy, appointed its first minister for the Republic? This is Australia. And the new Prime Minister of Australia is Anthony Albanese. Raba Fatima, who has been appointed as the Under Secretary General of the United Nations, is from which country? So she is from the country, Bangladesh. Which Indian has been appointed as the head of International Monetary Funds Asia and the Pacific Department? Answer would be Krishna Srinivasan. Fine. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meena Sana signing off.